but we're getting ready right now. On it's getting side. live. Let's go. Let's go. Grand final. Cypher versus Three, Evil two, for the first one. Sunday Cup of the winter season 2014. Let's go. And we have Cypher now picking up the Mega on Furious Highs right at the start. We have the Lightning Gun as well for him. So he's going to feel confident just going for the dive. Yeah. And he's got this defense. There's no way really Evil can jump in onto him. And he just doesn't want Evil to get to have time to get that rail. But I think Evil might have got it anyway. Yep. Just, uh, you, would, you predicted that Cypher would not go for the double back there, but unfortunately for Evil, it does not land. However, Evil should get the position above Cypher right now and try to land some... He actually drops down. He's, of course, he's Evil. He's, he's a maniac. But who's going to land the shots? Both of them do. Oh, Cypher lands too. Wow. He, did Cypher just drop onto Evil's LG there? It was oh what I saw with my own eyes. And One more rock would actually kill Evil. And Cypher... He lands it. Look, he hasn't got much left. He was trying to do it off this one. This is the typical oh, evil move. That, that's great that Cypher didn't actually kill evil. So he won't have enough. Well, he shouldn't have enough to push, but he's evil. And let's just think about what has happened in the first minute. Of course, there's no help up on the map. Of course, it's just his 25 left. And oh, look, evil knew that was the, the only 25. bit of health left. That was all. And yeah. he knew that he'd go for it. And now evil is in a 2 2 situation and it has only just been a minute gone. We've got the next mega. And Cypher, if he doesn't take the teleport right now, he's dead. Man. He does take it, but Evil is just gonna rush for until he acknowledges, okay, this is not safe anymore for me to rush. And it looks like Evil now is in a great spot to Should take the attack. And that's it. He does get a very clean kill onto Cypher. So now things calm down. Now Cypher's like, all right, yeah, okay, I'm totally out of control. There's nothing I can do. And Evil might even find another frag. He does. So four to two. Cypher needs to slow it down now. Ins, what are we tr what are we gonna see? We're going to see Cypher just pretty much not showing up to items for at least a minute. Just trying to get those yellows. But before the yellows, he needs to get the we the weapons. He actually steals the mega. He only has the LG. But stealing the mega there and the yellow tells Evil he just he's, he's challenging for control so early on, and he actually made it work. That's one way to do it, right? And he forces the fight on Cypher. There's nothing Cypher can do but take this fight. Evil does not pursue through the teleporter, oh, waits great. for the jump, and Cypher somehow manages to evade Evil's reticle thing there. thing is, after stealing that uh, 50 health, he's going to get the yellow, and we could see their major item split push. Split push? Whoa, I'm going to League of Legends in this. Or Cypher's charging for the rally. Seems that they're going to push the I they're going to split the items for themselves. And he look at this. Evil is just waiting. He's sitting in the water there, so he's... His movements are very audible, but now he goes back to the money positions high up on the map. And he spots Cypher, misses the right. He can't drop. There's no way with that stack that he can drop. Cypher's very, very, yeah. very... Cypher's getting a lot of damage. There. He did 50 damage already. Luckily for Evil, he does a little bit more with the rail, which does 80. Let's see if Evil can defend this mag health. Where is Cypher? Right now, Cypher? He thought about getting a rail, but he comes in a little bit late. Wow, but what that's, a great that's rocket. That's, that seals the deal right there. Good oh, rails evil. from Evil. Oh, one more rail would have been it. That but was now enough sick. damage for Evil to be able to defend the rest successfully. Yep, he did the job. To be honest, those first two rails were quite sick. And not to mention Cypher's rocket as well. It's just tip top with these two players. And Cypher has re emerged. Oh, he was still railable there. Cypher. He's making the most crazy moves right now. And Red and Mega, but at the same time. Now it's both items. As you say, so Cypher's trying to figure out which one do I go for. He's got Evil Trap there. He needs to have more conclusive uh, kind of evidence to go on a decision. He goes for the Red finally. Evil oh, now. Great rail. Cypher can go in. Is he going to do damage? He needs to try to use the LG there. Doesn't really do it that well. And Evil connects some My jaw somehow. just dropped because I have no idea how Evil managed to pull that one out. Cypher had everything going for him. Now Evil's going to make the play onto the red armor. Cypher does show himself, connects two rails. Rail. Oh my. There's a second as well. Oh and my god! How does he do it? Cypher does do what Evil just did to him. They just aren't, they cannot be matched except but one another. And right now we're just enjoying the game. Exactly. It's an absolute beast of a map. And so, the, the, it's such a high caliber. The 
execution from both players. Eagle's going to make the stand here. Drops off the bridge, and Cypher does pick off the frag. And Just this time is as well. Big problem for Evil now because Cypher wow. gets a second follow up. He gets a clean frag, clean red. Now Evil has to be really careful, but that rocket changed it. Cypher needs Cypher. to go up to see the angle on the LG. He just needs to try to shoot five Evil if he goes to you. Even waiting five more seconds here will be okay. Okay, he isn't here. It means Evil is at taking the rail himself. There he, he sees him taking it. And now Evil has enough to actually go for this red armor. Can he take it though? He's, uh, Cypher's taking a lot of damage. And wow. Evil has the rail. This was beautifully played by Evil. Cypher making a uh, prediction which turned out to be very, very wrong and gave Evil all the control. Definitely. Evil is in such good shape as we can all see. How will Cypher deal with this? I wonder as Evil plants himself firmly on the position around that red armor. And waiting for the yellow, this is... I mean, I guess he just has no idea when they're spawning. We can see it's not for ages. He will, will still get the red armor. The sniper has not the confidence nor the stack to push against evil. So now it's about the mega, and we're just waiting for Cypher to appear. There he there is. is. Can he land the shots, though? I won't be surprised if the next two rockets are direct. See my direct. Barely did any damage now. Cypher is running out of rockets. Well, he's going to drop. He's, he wants to stake the red. A great counter move from Evil, making sure Cypher doesn't get anything. But now he went to the red, so Cypher can go in and get wow. the mega. But great read by Evil. What he knew that Cypher wouldn't take it. That was amazing. I want to just. I would love to slow down the way that Evil took the fight there on Cypher. Yeah. That it was incredibly efficient. He took no damage and dealt like a hundred with the LG just because of the way he was positioned. Plus, that was he managed, so amazing. He managed to make sure Cypher would only be able to go one place and that was far away from the two major items. Just great fighting skills from Evil right there. Evil is actually outclassing Cypher right now. Yeah. The last few minutes he's been outclassing. He's going to be rewarded for it very handsomely with a couple frags and Cypher. Doesn't even have the shotgun. If he had he could try to pull a miracle. But not even that. So what is the next move for Evil? He's got this mega in store. There it is. Now, what do you think he should do? In? Should, if he wants to extend his lead, if he wants to make sure this is a sure thing. He wants to try to land the rail on Cypher to make sure Cypher... There he goes. That's more than enough damage. Can't even go for the kill right now. Thing is, he might lose on the red. But there he goes. He goes quickly to it. And Cypher, nowhere near yet. So here we go. Evil now making his way back towards wow. these yellows. But that How rail... How land in another one? That's Evil! Just ridiculous there. What has he been... What is in the water? Oh my god, another rail. Been drinking. And Cypher is. He can't be feeling well after all the damage. But Evil did make a slight mistake in here. He didn't go for the Mega straight ahead, so Cypher, he can actually steal the, the red. But, but this is I one think of those. That's what, oh, what, what Evil wanted, because now Cypher will actually have to engage again, and this will give Evil another right. frag. And Cyper won't have time to come back. That, that was a great prediction. That was one of those situations that Evil does a lot. And I just want to oh, wait Cyper's this... doing a lot of damage right now. Yeah, I just want to wait until this fight plays out until I actually make the point. But Evil left, kind of left that red up in a sense. And oh no, the, the steal again. Great play to bring himself back in this. Yeah, I mean, that, leaving the red up would be a great follow-up to then do the damage and prevent Cyper from getting time. But Cyper, he got that little opportunity. Now he's actually doing damage to Evil. Definitely. Oh, but Good Steve, rails. never mind the damage that Cypher did. That was much more. Oh, oh my direct. god! How does he do it? Evil looking for the final bit of damage to finish off Cypher, but he will not show himself. And Evil, with that one rocket, he doesn't even need the to kill Cypher right now. Flow of the map. Because now Cypher can't get aggressive. Yeah, he just can't do anything. It'd be better for Cypher to die and then wait to get frags. But he just can't do anything, especially after that rail. So Evil does not need to get a kill. Great play here. Evil's just slowing Cypher down so much with this damage, oh, even finally getting the frag as Cypher got desperate. That now we have a situation where there's nothing Cypher can do. Evil takes the first map, Furious Heights. Such great, great play from the Russian. It, 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 honestly, yeah. it's it, some of that and stuff was truly damage. He did 1.2k more damage than Cypher. How many times is he anyone out damaging Cypher? I mean... Not that many. So you're going to be making that blog post about evil soon? Oh, yeah. It seems like very, very soon. All right. I mean, that was definitely very convincing. Well, I'd say that. I mean, it can never be truly convincing in Cypher, but no. evil was playing 
extremely well. And I just want to bring up, highlight that point. Okay, I can't because the game's getting, the second mass getting on the way. Blood Run has begun. We have Cypher, his point of view to begin with, as he grabs the Mega. And oh my god. He even went for the air rocket after. It's crazy. He didn't have an LG, obviously. But he, he hit two up. directs. Yeah, pretty much. I think the second one must have done around 60 damage. He's still more than enough. We haven't seen a normal Blood Run start today. And nope. look at this Cypher. He knows, okay, red is the next thing right now. That is the next thing both players are thinking about. Cypher's like, okay, where are you coming from? Oh, he right below it. Now he knows. Look at the damage from both players. That's wow. I mean, Cypher was eating like 50%. And, and Evil, Evil still did it. Evil was eating, I don't know, 8. So can you check the accuracy for a second? 46. Like, seriously. So that's, that was just mind-boggling there. Evil managed to do it, just pushing into the damage and feeling even more back himself. Now the red is coming up. He's going to be approaching from the same avenue here, this high area, as he drops, trying to pursue Cyber, leaving up the red for a moment just to try to get the damage out. And that is the pickup. Evil is well and truly in control at the beginning of Blood Run now. It just comes down to this Mega. I'm wondering yeah, what defense is strong enough to prevent evil from attacking. I just don't know. Is there anyone in Quake who could actually defend against a, a wheeling evil? Because he was, Cypher was out stacking him in that fight as well. He was indeed, there is the next red. What is evil? Okay, so how does evil play this? Does he do it? Does he do it simple and plain? Oh, that's he he's reading. He's reading Cypher's double back and doing a ton of damage without really receiving. That's just his combat skills are really ex excelling right now. So you're saying with his with his control, he's just gonna play heavily around reads. Yeah, I mean, all he has to do right now is, since he's such a dominant force, he can just uh, try to prevent Cypher from taking weapons. And wow, <laughs> wow. Good shot there. That's going to end the life of Cypher. And the red is still up, so... He doesn't even need to take it. He's just going to take it because, well, it's there. Why the hell not? But he needs to be thinking about the weapons now. Cypher just got himself an LG. He needs to prevent him from taking the rail or the rockets. I think he's going to go straight over to the rockets. See if he can get... If he can reach Cypher in here. And Cypher was right below him. Cypher only has the LG. He's now picking a rail. Uh, we can see Cypher. He's picking up the weapons as well. And he's going to get the top yellow. So Cypher will be on 100-100. And Evil knows exactly how stacked he is. Cypher can now make a move for the red. He does. And we can see exactly how Cypher is trying to play this. And Evil is not, be he's not being able to do much to stop it. So Cypher still needs the rockets though. This is why Evil is here. He's waiting for him to go for it and then drop down to the teleporter. Definitely. Oh, that, that is a very important rail there from Evil. Cypher oh, a second oh, one. Cypher just needs to go away. He just lost too much right now. The last minute that Cypher had played was very good. He took no damage. And he, but he got, and he got the weapon. That's the only thing he, he should realize before trying to push for another fight. I have the weapons, and they costed me a minute to get. So let's not push in, because then I might not ever get the weapons again. He's going to have to spend another minute now not taking damage to get himself to a stack that is going to be good enough for a challenge. And with it's very early days, it's three and a half minutes played so far, so he does have the time to, to use for such such strategies. There is the red spawn. He doesn't really need it. There he goes. That's a great decision from Evil. Straight up into Cypher's face. But the rockets are so strong! Is that really a great decision? That's really what Cypher wanted him to do. He took 390 damage there, and Cypher was really, really close to eating their air rock. Finally, wow. Cypher pulls a miracle and lands the finishing rail onto Evil out of nowhere. I feel like it was good until he missed everything. <laughs> yeah, and Cypher started eating everything. It suddenly it's a one frag exactly. game when Evil had mind-blowing control not even 15 seconds ago. So how, how does Cypher do this? That was a, a stylistic choice that Evil... Because that, that was a... I will stand by the fact that that was a good aggression. The problem is, is he just missed everything. Oh, oh my god, and no. Cypher ties up the game. Yeah, I mean, the, the thought behind it wasn't bad. The thing is, he couldn't really adapt to Cypher's uh, defensive movement in there. Soon as Cypher got positioned with the rockets, Evil started missing everything. He yeah. wasn't ready for that. And now Cypher, he's tied up the game at a much more accelerated rate because of the play of Evil helping Cypher out. And now Cypher, let's see how he plays this. Will he make a similar move onto Evil? 
he has done in the past when he just completely dropped down onto Evil's LG and Evil got away with three points of health. Let's see now one good rail. Doesn't land with the second, doesn't really need to. The mag is the next item up, not the red. Still shooting a grenade, just making sure Evil cannot go anywhere. I don't think he has exact timing on the red, so he's going to draw a jump. There he is. Here we go there. Evil shows his face with the shotgun. Oh my god, that's a beautiful combo. Fantastic rail there. Evil, oh, he'll, be lucky. Get away. he'll be lucky if he can escape with his life here. And Cypher's oh, he gonna won. make sure it doesn't happen. Rocket jump up, he's gonna go down. Actually though, if you look at the timing of all the items, this could have been a bit of a mistake from Cypher because he didn't preserve his stack. He's only got 100 armor. If Evil was to attack in evil fashion right now, he might have a chance, but he's, yeah. he's left too long now. He's now left too long. Oh, he didn't even spawn. I mean, if he had, he had a plasma, it means he spawned by the top of the yeah, yellow, but he didn't take it. So now he's going to try and get that red. He actually got it. So he has 100 armor. Maybe if he gets anything else, we'll see what he can come up with. Because he can now get the bottom yellow and be on 150 armor. The thing is, he'll still be 100 health below Cypher. But luckily for him, Cypher isn't planning anything. This is good damage, but Evil didn't get nearly in the, the amount of damage he wanted before the fight. But it was still very, very close. Yeah. Now he can rush right off the spawn if he wants. And he's doing so, but Cypher just keeps connecting. And he does get the mega health away from Cypher, but you can see Cypher abusing his weapons, his weapon advantage right there, moving outside the LG range. But can Evil do it? He still has a chance to get back he's, in this he game. He just got sure. one of the 25s, but he's going to give Cypher the other one, which will probably give Cypher enough, enough stack to defend this fight. Let's see if Evil can do it. He's getting really low, and again, he does a lot of damage to Cypher. And Cypher, if he rocket jumps up for this, he's going to be very vulnerable. No Evil. No. Oh, there he is! He's coming in, and Cypher! There we go. He just was unable to react on time, and now Evil is going to get the mag as well. Right. My Cypher goes really aggressive, which he should definitely should not do. That was a hard spot for Cypher, because he kind of knew when he did that rocket jump, he'd be, he'd be dead, because he'd be so low after. The thing is, he kept waiting on Evil to come to come out. He knew that Evil was going to come out, but when he did, he just wasn't able to react on time. Yep. And now Evil's got the timing on the red, and he's, Evil can run the map again. He's got three minutes left, and this is starting to turn into such an exciting match. This is like a Ash versus Cypher game again. Cypher has a lead, but now he'll be hiding on corners. Three minutes to go. Can Evil find Cypher? It's only a two frag game. Exactly. Cypher is on survival mode right now. Here we go. Great bit of LG there, but the Cypher rockets just are keeps so good. doing. Oh my god, look at the rockets from Cypher. That's the problem. That is the that is the the kind of the illusion that you have oh. that you have to take the fight with LG there, because you're like, I have such a good stack, I want the LG fight, and Cypher's like, well he's always playing rockets there. Oh my god. Oh the, what the hell that was that? That was an awesome combo from Evil. How did he just get that frick? Grenade to LG and while the rail. dropping down on Cypher. He can do this, he got the rail follow-up, the red arm is spawning, he's on it with the LG. And he's still got the rail, of course, as well. So Evil's still alive in this game after that grenade play came out of nowhere. But it could be the one thing that gives him the game again. Here he goes. Rocket jump up. He finds Cypher. Got to connect the shot. Oh, he misses. Cypher's dodging too good. And that's going to be Evil now. He's going to have to look for another sh shot, another option. It's still 90 seconds to go. He, just, he needs to make sure he actually gets both of the major items, though. And now is he going to do it while Cypher is attacking on the red? Well, it's actually his, his best chance to get both of the major items. And Cypher's not really applying that much pressure into getting them himself. Because obviously he just wants to survive. Going to the major items would be a very big risk. Evil, he needs to chase right now. Interesting stuff here from Evil going for the rocket jumps. And going to come out. He's got to be There's a Cypher. yellow. He knows it. Now, what, where can What's Cypher go? go? Telly or towards the rail. Cypher, one down. rail. Doesn't need to connect the second one. He can try to chase because he has a red fall back onto. He's going to see if he's at the teleporter exit. There is Cypher. Oh, he catches him. Oh, this can this frag. be it? Seven one to six. Frag remaining for Evil. Still 60 seconds to go. Is Cypher in here? Nope, no Cypher in here. There's the Mega for Evil. Cypher, he didn't take the top yellow as well. Maybe he is around, but he wants to think that. He wants Evil to think that, okay, Cypher is not in, in this room. Things are so tense for Cypher right now because he's Where got to stay away. Him? And Evil's Where is Cypher? Evil's Nobody knows. Just gone across the whole There's match. He spotted him and he's over the shards. Evil has to get lucky. He's got to get the right read. He gets it with the rockets. Got to follow it up. Damage is so high. Oh. What a pixel rail from Evil. 7-7 seven to seven now. 20, 20 seconds. seconds left. He can even get this map win before the overtime. Let's see if he can do it. Five seconds for the Mega. Is Cypher going to be there? Or does Cypher want the overtime? No, Cypher just wants the overtime. Evil yeah. doesn't though. 
He's got a GBO's way out of this one. He's got to make sure that Evil cannot kill him before this overtime and things calm down. Will Evil play this slow or will he take this aggressively? He's got a massive advantage because Cyber gave up the entire map, every item type, yes. everything to survive. He didn't do it. Evil has to push. Cypher right now, he needs to get back onto the items. And how the hell is he going to do it after three minutes not seeing a major item? He's going to make his way around now back onto the Mega. Looking for the rails. Going to miss them so far. Grenade's kind of going over his head. There very, goes Rocket Jump. Very good for, for Evil. That oh my should God. be a frag. And that's the most well planned frag I've seen this map. Because not taking the Mega would mean that Cypher would, wouldn't get the timing from it straight away. And Rocket Jumping up means if Cypher was double backing to get the timing, he could actually get the frag and get even more control from that. Can you believe this series so far? Both maps, amazing. And here we go, Evil back on this red armor, quite early I have to say, and Cypher will pick up a yellow meanwhile, but it's not too problematic for Evil, he has a one frag advantage, 60 seconds left, it's a Cypher who has to attack him to Evil, Evil has to make sure that he always is in good defensive positions. This is a good position for him, Cypher goes in with a plasma, and he steals the Mega mid-fight! Oh my god, how did... Uh, I don't... It's, it's just Cypher that went away, and now he just gave himself a huge opportunity to get back into the game out of seemingly nowhere. I mean, this Let's map. Go to Cypher, and he oh finds my Evil God. for the telly. He's gonna get, he's gonna get the red. Evil is too scared to actually come out of the teleport, and Cypher lands the rail. I think Cypher is going to do it. Here he goes. He's gonna go the jump, and he's gonna give it his. Where all. is Evil? The the plasma was just taken, so less than five seconds. Evil was there. Can Cypher find Evil? He lands another rail. rail. Is he gonna land the clutch? Oh he my god! It. Where's Evil? Oh, he misses, he misses the third rail. He land it. Oh, he misses the again. Cypher, connect. Evil, he's right above. Can Cypher go in? Oh my god, he's he's choking now. And that's gonna that's be a it. win for Evil. Wow! What an absolute beast of a map again. That was such a great second map. Both map one and map two. Just exhilarating performances from both players. Wow. Evil is playing so damn well. I just cannot believe the clutch. Um, like the, the shots he's hitting are just amazing. The plays yeah. he's making are amazing. Just he's so smart and just so consistent so far in this grand final. Exactly. That is, it's Evil 2.0. It has arrived. You think is, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it in three maps? He can do it in three maps. He's up to Cypher now. He's been in this position countless times and he has fought back to win the series. Guys, tweet about this, get this out there, let's pump up the numbers. This is such a sick final. Wow, okay, we're gonna get into map number three. It's gonna be Cure. Cure. So I think Cypher might need a couple of minutes. He's going to be rethinking his strategy right now. He needs yeah. to adapt to Evil 2.0. The world needs to adapt to Evil 2.0. I don't know, man, he's just playing so well. Like, he's, he's, he's not really misperforming. He's not like he's making a single mistake. Like, the f the plays that Cypher's making, he actually got frags because he just pulled miracles right. out of nowhere. I, okay, actually, one thing I can say is that was interesting that I, that I remember. There's a few things. But one thing was the pillar fight where Cypher was really behind on the stack. Yeah. And he, had the, and he was, like, defending with the rockets because he can't take an open fight, LG versus LG, because of the simple reason. His, his exactly. less stack. So he was just playing the pillar with the rockets, dodging back and forth. And Evil forgot this really simple concept. I'm going to say that, that was, that's still Evil 1.5. Yeah. <laughs> right, not Cause, really. Because if you're playing, I think, really smart, you realize the situation. Yeah. And, and the thing is, is with LG, uh, against the rail, pressuring angles is really good. Because every time they, they duck out, then they take damage. But with rockets, it's a little bit different from situations like that. So Evil should have realized that the best play there would have just been to just like go back a bit and just wait. Yeah, exactly. Because Cypher couldn't move. Exactly. He, he just needs to position himself on the grenades, so Cypher would be in the other corner, and he would have no exit route. Exactly, and and that was kind of the and this is why Quake is so so amazing sometimes. And this is ha like this is the reason why players on the tip top level sometimes make what we can say uh, seemingly simple errors because the game is so damn fast. I mean, they're thinking about five hundred things at the yeah. same time. <laughs> the timing and, and we like, we crazy. had to to think about yeah. how to even say this for five minutes. Exactly, and they have to think about that in the in the second. They're getting, they're getting ready. ready. He sees uh, match point for Evil exactly. on the third map in this grand final. It's Cure. It is the third Sunday Cup of the winter season, and we're on Cypher to begin with as he grabs that Mega LG combo. It is good. Is Cypher ready for what Evil has to offer right now? That's the great rocket and the great rail from Evil. 
because that basically means now Cypher should get the next red. Yeah, because he, first of all, he has the LG and the rocket, and Evil will try to position himself right above Cypher to do a lot of damage. There he is, already making sure Cypher doesn't even get out of that little corridor. Evil's going to rush in. Can Oh my goodness, look at the... Whoa. How did Evil just do that? That was seemingly like close to direct rockets and then derailed to clutch. I mean, I, mean, I, I thought Cy Evil would never go for it because he didn't have an LG. Cypher thought the same and Evil still did it. He just Certainly. executed perfectly. And now we see Evil, he's got... He's got the power. He has the power of Brave Skull. He can just do whatever he wants on the map. And oh, Cypher goes straight onto Again. the red! And Evil hits good rockets, but 16 health left it's on Cypher. Cypher. It's Cypher. He it's the only it thing we can say. I mean, it's like Evil is in complete control, and then Cypher just comes in, seals a major item, and. He was sitting on the red. He was just waiting there. That's like you don't. That's like a rule about cure. You don't. And generally. Items of terrible position. There you don't just stand on them, but Cypher There did. aren't rules for Cypher. That's that's the the only rule that Cypher has is there aren't rules for Cypher. Evil does come back in and wins this fight, wins the red, and gets the lead back. After that last fight, Evil was like, "Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You're going to be low. I'm going in for the kill." That's exactly what happened, and I think that's what the universe demanded. That was justice right there, and now Evil has is, is, uh, got the lead back. We have the red coming up, and this is really good split of timing. And now Evil's going to go for the drop, Cypher's going to go for the fight. How good are Evil's rockets? I mean, seriously, even Cypher has time out to think a little bit, okay, how is he doing so much damage onto me? I'm above the stairs. Prepare I'm assumably Three, protected, two, but Evil is still landing one, the damage because he's fight. placing the rockets onto the actual step where Cypher is. Can you imagine the impact on, on Cypher to lose the 3 0 in a grand final against anyone right now? I, I think mean, that would be good, actually, because he would get even more motivated. Not like he lacks any motivation right now, but he thinks he's the best in the world. And, I mean, he is, because he won the, he won the last land. But Evil just coming back onto this, like, now, this would give the whole scene a really big motivation. And here we go, we have Evil in very stacked. Oh my that that rocket jump was so good! But Cypher did all the damage there. Yeah. It's like, okay, Evil plans the fight and then Cypher just turns it around. And I've never seen that rocket jump quite like that done before, but that was really, really smart. The way, the angle that he came in, but Cypher defended. Now we have the Mega Up, but Evil's Cypher not going to go defended. for it. Good positioning for the LG. Oh my, and Cypher just keeps doing the damage. And Cypher's going to come in out of nowhere. He almost lands the rail. He's still there. Evil on six health. How are they doing this to each other? Why? They should be playing Clan Arena because Dual isn't making sense to them. It's really amazing because of the, the way that the damage is going. It's dictating everything because they do so much damage, they keep thinking, oh, I can go back in again. And, and that keeps happening. We keep getting these close it's situations. Just, it's just triple back to get the angle. Unfortunately for, for him, he didn't connect with anything. Let's see if Cypher's gonna try to do more damage here. Finally, he doesn't. This is the magic of high execution games where certain players can execute so much above the average that they break the standard rules. Yeah, exactly. And s crazy things just keep happening. They go into crazy fights and they do the damage. And there it goes. That's beautiful execution once more just from Evil. And now, Cypher, it's time. He's losing 2-0. to zero. Evil's on match point. He has a lead. It's six minutes to go. Cypher needs to pull a miracle. And it's almost as if... It's not people figuring out evil. He was figuring out Cypher right now. We should switch on to Cypher because I think something spectacular, spectacular has to happen. Okay, let's go with the inn's intuition. Can Cypher, can his tricks, his tricks of the trade, his his specialties, can oh. they work out against evil right now? Because evil, evil is on point on the red armor. Actually, he leaves it up. Oh no, he, he loses track of Cypher. Cypher, good rockets. Oh gets that frag and you're right, ends. Spectacular indeed. The rockets do the job. He's 4-2 now. He's got to make sure this next fight, he's got to survive. Cypher has to live through he's this. to get it and he has enough time to get himself onto the... Oh, evil got, got the best spawn at the air. He spawned yeah. in the yellow. Cypher, how's he going to defend the red? He needs to be able to because evil is going to come in. He cannot give evil the position on the rocket launcher or he'll do a lot of damage. To the Why did he go up the teleporter? That was... Oh I th my... I, th I think he slipped. I think he actually... Yeah, I think he actually slipped a slight, there. A slight, mis a slight uh, misstep He did right not there. want to go through the teleporter. Because his there. positioning was perfect. Yeah. Before he was just that. really well positioned. Going through that would have been an absolute mistake. But he got evil's plasma right now. Cypher is on no health whatsoever and evil's about to peak the mega health.
even deny the 50 HP. This is so great. It's such a great move for Evil. Here we go. Five minute mark. Evil is one frag ahead. It is his match point. This could be 3 0 clean sweep against Cypher. Here he is on the, the red armor. Cypher going for some good rockets, but he's weak. And he's didn't do well. enough there. He didn't do enough. He got behind. He got massively behind from that move. And now Evil, if he realizes it, he can. Is extend. he still so good from Evil to even check on the yellow there? And he actually goes away, leaves it up. So Cypher will think that Evil maybe picked it up. He's going to have to do a retake on that, see if it's still up. And he's gonna. This be is, I, th I think this is. He, he doesn't want to play for the Mega here. I think he wants to play for the red. Cypher is going to position himself to the rev, and Evil, if he's not fast enough, he's going to miss out on it. Cypher is going to drop down, he's going to be a huge fight, but Cypher is doing the damage. Uh, awkward fight for Evil, how does he get out of here? Cypher knows exactly where he is. Cypher though, he doesn't want to take damage. And Cypher is well positioned to take the yellow. This is going to be a huge fight at the yellow. Cypher is going to tie up the game right very now. Very smart. Very, very smart. I don't think Evil should have gone for that. Yeah, that was on the high level. That's very That can be predictable. He realized that Evil wanted to do damage on the yellow, and that's where he would do it from. So he, he closed the distance and, and left the yellow up. It's very simple. And now Cypher is ready for the... Look at this positioning. What, he needs to be here go? because... If, oh my god, such a great read as well. He, he's going to pick up the red and the Mega and Cypher. Is he going to flush this one? He needs to flush it three times in a row. Oh, that's... He can get the rock. Nope. He should get the... An easy frag either way. He knows he still has a mega to fall back onto, so... Just toying with evil a little bit. He just took about 100 more damage than he should have. Yeah. Fight. He and shouldn't really have played that much, because now he might even... Oh my god, even the water. He's he going wasted. to miss out on the red. He wasted so much time in that fight. And, and he just... He needed to even do damage to evil. Evil's forging an opportunity for himself. Or more, right. like uh, Cypher is giving Evil an opportunity. So the fight took so long, and he fell in the water. It killed so much time that Evil could steal the red. That is huge. Evil that he is, plays defensively. Huge. And he oh. lands the rocket on Cypher. Cypher doesn't land the, the exit rail there, so Evil might position himself to get the next red, and Cypher might be forced to leave. He doesn't want to leave, though. He wants to show Evil that he wants to win this map. He wants Goodness. respect from Evil right now. This damage from Evil is phenomenal. Cypher still picking up the red, though. I want to switch on to Evil, see what he's playing with. Nothing. Wow. He needs this yellow. This is Urgently. so important. Yeah. And that's going to be great. The thing is, is that Cypher did pick up the Mega, and Evil knows that. So Evil cannot go for a direct play on the red armor. He can pressure, he can poke, but he cannot commit to it. Where is Cypher right now? I was thinking. Is Cypher is playing a move on it. Yep. Cypher that's was the thing. Like, this is the bait. And that is the bait. That's the ultimate bait, and Evil fell for it. And I, I cannot even believe that Evil fell for it. Yeah, I thought he was being really cautious. That is Cure 101, that trap. Yeah. Like, oh, the red's up. No one's around. I, I guess I'm just going to go I for it. That was really ingenuous from Evil to actually go into the red there. Sometimes the, the oldest tricks work the best. He thought that uh, Cypher was, was reading him, was reading that Evil shouldn't be there, and then Cypher would be at the yellow. That could have worked massively. E unfortunately for Evil, it didn't, and he costed him this map. Luckily for him, he'll still be on match point in the next one. Yeah, definitely, things are still great for Evil, despite the outcome of this match. And to be honest with you, I want to see five maps because this is perhaps the greatest battle I've seen in ages. No, seriously, it is. And Cypher, he is on the back foot right now. Anything can happen with your remaining time and four frags, the difference. The thing is, let's switch, let's go on to Evil here. He's got a decent enough stack. He takes, uh, I was going to say if he takes no damage here, but that's okay, he returned. He just needs to push forward now. He's got all the weapons. Four frags, one minute. It's not impossible on here, especially with the spawn frags you can get sometimes. That or with the combo of them. But he needs to start connecting. He needs to get him. Fights, he needs frags. And Cypher is just, his defensive damage is just way too much. There he goes, another rail. He needs to have more of those. He's going to get, go over to the, the red. This should be the last red for evil. He has to stop going for the items. He needs a frag right now, he gets it. There's he a frag. so much damage though. This is very, yes. very problematic. The red was just taken. Only mega spawns. But if he goes for that mega, he kills so much time. Yeah. He cannot afford to go for it. He actually can't go for that mega. He has to just kill. He's just got to get and the kills. And he's going to wait for the red instead? That's even uh, an even worse yeah, move. Yeah. Unless he gets really, really lucky right now. And I'm, I'm not talking about a 100 in a million chance. And that, that's it. 15 seconds to go. He cannot spawn, spawn frag anymore. So here we are. The last 10 seconds. It's going to be Cypher. He's going to take one map in this 
quite frankly the best one of the best series I've seen in Quake Live, to be honest. Just the level of play between these two players, and I make no exaggeration personally. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you guys are as well. It is just mind-blowingly good. Yeah, the it is. From these really, guys. It's really next good. level. It, when people say next level, like no, this is actually next level. Yeah, this is this is really next level. Both of the levels of these two guys, it's it's really off the hook right now. I this is definitely the highest level, the two highest leveled players in the world right it's, now. It's it is quite a treat to watch. So. Ah, awesome. So I'm I how how does this how does this end? I mean now Cypher's won a map, so it's two to one. Evil remains on match point. Yeah. And Cure was so close, and Cure is Cypher's map. Evil, I think, is weakest in two places, toxicity and cure. And we just saw one of them and it was very close. Mm -hmm. Toxicity, I believe, is his biggest weakness. If we if we don't see a toxicity now. Toxi you think toxicity is evil's weakness? Yeah, I'd say yeah. he was the best player in the map, like for like two months, and then Cypher just came in and he suddenly became the best in the map. The thing is, success between these two can go thirty zero to each one of them. Well, Rafa. Yeah, Rafa. Rafa. <laughs> Rafa. That's all I have to say about yeah. toxicity. I mean, <laughs> nothing first, else needed. Firstly, Rafa is just really good there, but secondly, like he kind of. That's how he won QuakeCon. He yeah. won QuakeCon on the strength that him and Evil were neck and neck. He had to remove Blood Run, and that was his advantage being in the winner bracket. He was able to, to pick the map that he could win. He took out Blood Run, and he was the only map that there was a difference for those two players was mm -hmm. Toxicity. And it is a map that, I mean, Evil's a very tactical player, despite yeah. the fact that we see, okay, you know, uh, we see how I mean, good his I aim is. I mean, I think we could see in, this, in the last series that all the tactic and the planning that he does to the fights, because some of those was borderline genius. Yeah, it was, some of it was really And I good. think they've started the toxicity already. Problem. Unfortunately, we had a all couple right. of problems getting to the server yeah, as we, we got timed out. But we haven't see. lost any frag yet. So let's go straight into the game right now. Let's jump in, guys. Here we are, map number four. It is still match point for evil, of course. And here we go. No frags at all. And we have, of course, 90 seconds played. Here is the first frag. It's gonna be, it's gonna belong to Cypher as he now tries to get the follow up. But the machine gun damage is quite problematic there. And it looks as if right now, Cypher, it's not, it's got, it's got the edge on the frags, but it is not an edge to be proud about. It's quite shameful. And he's gonna find some problems right he now. To, he needs to get out of here and just go straight to the mega. This is problematic. When you get this low on toxicity, you give away the map. Pretty it gets much. the mega. Very important. Oh, but look at the damage he's doing. And he's even char chasing up to get the next heal. That was the perfect counter. Evil thought he had an opportunity when Cypher just came in and stole that away from him. And now he can even get another frag. Oh, that was so close, Rocky. Is Evil going to allow Cypher to come back on a and win 3-2? That would be... Unthinkable for Evil. Let's see now if Cypher's able to push onto the good positions and take Mega. That's the two next oh. things. Push onto the Mega. Damage from Cypher. He didn't take any damage whatsoever from Evil there, and now he's circling the map perfectly. This is bad. This is bad for Evil. Really bad for Evil. Cypher has now done the the dream. It has created the dream situation for Toxicity, where he has He lost everything. the red though. He needs to be really careful pushing in against the plasma of evil because evil is doing a lot of damage. Cypher's on 10 points of health. Yeah. Luckily, he left the mega up to fall back if he, in case something like this would happen. That's interesting though. I mean, I don't understand his attack avenue there. He could have stayed high by the tele exit, oh, yeah. shot down like you would expect, but instead he was more committed in a bad spot. I'm not sure, but either way, he's still an advantage. But evil's gonna push in more plasma. Can he do it? Six health Six left. Points of health, that's nothing. If Evil spawned in the rocket, it could just as easily... Oh my god, he's going to allow Cypher to get the 225s. I would say that's a very big mistake from Evil. He does have the, the position on the Mega now. So let's see. What can he do? He's going to get the Mega. So, okay. He didn't take the frag, but he's going to take control at least. Oh my god. So, so close. Cypher even pushing forward. So here we have... Cypher taking another red Okay, arm. so he left. Evil just let Cypher get the red, so I don't understand but why How did Cypher get out of this spot? Is Evil going to stay there? Yeah, he okay, the can rocket just rocket jump. jump up. So I don't understand why Evil didn't charge in for those 225s, as he should know that Cypher was low. 
And it's already looking very grim for Eagle. We're four minutes in now. He's 6 0. Oh. And Cypher's starting to stack up. Cypher got to the position of toxicity where he can get loads of frags in a row. And he's getting there again now. It's scary. He doesn't even need the machine for the frag right now. He's just going to lose a little bit more health. Like if he dodges all the plasma damage away, he's going to keep circling the items. Are we going to see a 5 mapper? Honestly, it's looking like that so far, but it, we're just, we're not even halfway. But the problem, like I did highlight, I really do believe that the Cypher has a big edge, and I think this is the best map for Cypher against to uh, Evil. And so far it's proving true, but Cypher is not without his own mistakes or own his own, uh, let's say, leaks in his game. Which evil can exploit and let's see if evil can. Yes, yeah, it's Cyber. very interesting because like uh, Rafa, for example, he doesn't make mistakes. Oh yeah, yeah. Rafa doesn't mess up on this. Map. Cypher does make a couple of mistakes. Thing is, he pulls a lot of miracles. Exactly, exactly. It's like for every mistake he does, he pulls out five miracles, like things that should never happen in the game. Right. And this is really the issue because, as a player, sometimes this is like very agent mentality. You're like, this is logical, so I'm this, going this to is what this. should happen. And then you see someone like Cypher maybe make what seems like, let's say, Completely the, the minus the minus EV play, yeah. but his execution is so good in those spots that he, he makes you freak out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you see Cypher rushing in, or even Evil rushing in with 50 health at you when you're 150, that you just completely freak out, and Somehow he still sometimes gets a frag. And you're like, okay, that's unthinkable. How did I even lose that? It's because their execution is so good that they cannot, they cannot allow to do this kind of thing. And six minutes gone, 9 0 for Cypher. This could be the moment for Evil though, but he cannot, he cannot do it. The rail is gonna end the life Cypher of Cypher isn't evil. super stacked though, but Evil would need to attack at his Mega, and he's not attacking. And Cypher even lands a, a direct rocket to make sure evil, uh, he would stripe evil away from the red he just did. Good rockets there from the Cypher and the headshot with the rail. Okay, all the maps are pretty close. Nice direct. Except for Toxicity. It's, it's like the QuakeCon finals, really. It's when you put evil in the grand finals and you put him on Toxicity, that is your that is where you win. That is where I, you I think that, that, that's because everyone plays aggressive on Toxicity. And Evil is usually the only player playing aggressive on all the maps. But when he comes to toxicity, everyone plays aggressive, and Evil is like, I want to be there the only go. one doing it. He's going to forfeit the remainder of the time, which uh, uh, honestly I think is, is uh, you know, some people get a bit up in, up in arms about this, but Evil I think doesn't usually forfeit, though. He usually goes doesn't. AFK. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's okay in this situation. Like yeah. it's, it's a grand final, and he's like, all right, all right, Cypher, you... You've, you've bested me here. I, I, I'm pretty sure you've bested me here. So let's let's uh, let's move on to the next map, and that means we're two-two now in this grand final between Cipher and Evil. Perhaps the best face-it final we've had in ages, and we're going to move on to the next map right now. And this should be such, and now such a, such a nail biter. It we're going good. to see arguably the best player in, in the best Sinister player, best Sinister players should be going right against now. the best player in the world. It's I, going to be exciting. Yeah, I. You know what? I've never seen Rafa play this map. So, really? Didn't. It wasn't that Dream Act, was it? No. Right. I wonder if you played it. Uh, I don't know. But either way, I I'm really looking forward to this because Sinister last weekend, I think was like the weekend of of Sinisters because we had so many good games on Sinister. The, I think that to me that. Last weekend I had with Strengths when we were just casting Sinister matches and Strengths was very new to Sinister. That was when we really saw, or at least for me, I was like, wow, okay, this is really honestly an enjoyable map to spectate. Mm -hmm. When people have like started to really figure it out, you can get some really awesome matches on here. Yeah. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing, again, arguably the two best Sinister players right now. But Evil is not even on the server. Or he is, but he's in spec, spec mode. So probably just taking a breather. I have to say, I don't have an insight into, let's say, maybe rituals that Evil has. Uh, you know, whether he, he likes to... I, well, he usually goes even. AFK before the map is yeah. over, and then he comes back. Yeah. So I guess he forfeited, now he's going to 
take a while, maybe yeah. wash his hands again, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, some players have rituals. Like, I remember a long, 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 long time ago, um, so you sometimes see CZM at land just, like, kind of, like, sitting here like this, kind of meditating, like he's, like he's like, balancing a, a something on his head or something. But, like, that was <laughs> a long time ago. But And that just, that came to my mind first. But some players do have rituals. They have, and Evil is a tournament-winning player. He yeah. is that is the caliber that he has. He's joined. The, he's joined the game now, and he's 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 uh. Let's see. He's probably getting. Yeah, he's he's shooting around. He's he's warming himself back up. He's getting his his brain back into it, and he's ready. The countdown has started. This is map number five. Uh, three, two, one. The third Sunday Cup of the Faces Winter Season. This is gonna be it. Sinister. The place where the champion will be decided. And off the beginning, Cypher is with everything but the LG. That is the that is the task. Get the LG. And then move to the ref. Oh, he's gonna find evil. Well, evil is the one landing the rocket. That was very, very greedy of Cypher to try to go for the air rocket. And now, oh my god, he still gets a crack. How? Wow. Oh. Every map, the beginning is like this. In oh, you survive with five health? Oh, that's 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 how things go. Huge fight for the Mega right now. This Cypher, he cannot go for it. He only has the rail and Evil has the rockets and the LG. Cypher will need to start taking advantage of the angles. And if anyone knows the angles in, in this map, it's not Cypher, it's Evil. Yeah. Evil has the craziest angles on Sinister. Soon as he gets the rail as he is now, we're going to see him using them. But now a big LG fight for the red and Cypher is way too early for it. Way too early. That's not going to be good for him. As he gives the lead up to Evil. And here we go, Cypher is in the final oh, of Evil. The rocket seriously? defense is it, phenomenal. Cypher, he didn't even have a yellow behind him. He comes up you the jump pad, he lands four rockets onto Evil, gets the Mega, gets the lead, and he can get the red back. How, how does that make sense to you? Yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't know, but Cypher's gonna gun Evil down. He cannot fall short at the last hurdle. He cannot fall short of the last hurdle. Two frags to separate them. That last frag is a bit too easy to Cypher, but now Evil, you know, lands a rail. As the Cypher gets caught in the so LG. So much damage, death. that's another frag. And Evil. If this is Evil 2.0, he'll have an, a backup plan to what he's doing, because he just lost control massively. He cannot keep pushing in. He just got the red, though. Is he going to keep pushing in because he got the red? Because he can. Now he actually can. But he needs the weapons first. He just got a rocket, he probably got a rail as well. He needs to start getting into the items now. Now that's his chance. Here we go. Evil goes in through the teleport on Cypher. He's low, he's got to get the frag, he does. Red up very soon. Evil will have a follow-up here. He's got, look how much time he has for Mega. It allows him like a moment to breathe, to get the LG, get the ammo, get himself on position. Cypher should not be here though. He's just waiting for Evil to, to overextend a little bit to see if he can get some free damage, but Evil isn't doing it right now. It's very risky there, but Evil, boom, another yellow. Three minutes gone. Where's the next item up? Where is Cypher going to try to shoot from? Seemingly nowhere. Is he even around to check the timing? Maybe he is, but Evil will think that Cypher has no idea of the red timing. However, he can't really base his next move on that assumption. There you go. Just things are very quiet here. I mean, this, the tension is palpable as both players are on match points. The last map, he picks up another Mega. Let's go to Cypher right now. Let's, let's just check him out. He's trying to attack into the red. Cannot quite do it. And Inns, talk to me about Cypher's options right now because from what I'm looking at, they look very bad. They look very bad. Look for him, is in the lead. And if anyone can run a map without taking any maps, without taking any items, if anyone can be an absolute ghost, that Cypher. However, this map is not the hardest one to circle all the four items on, and Evil is the best player on it. How is Cypher going to do this? We're, we're now checking out what he's doing. Evil has been left. Cypher heard the timing. So wow, he'll that, that, no. that's actually an awesome spot on the map. Yeah, to see the timing. Evil, though, getting very aggressive. Next, Red is in five seconds. Cypher's doing so much, he actually got away without losing a frag, but oh, there is Evil. Nice. As I said, he has the most crazy angles. And Cypher, it was really ingenious of him not to think Evil would shoot through there. 
But Cypher was so defensive as well that now he's like, he's lost grip on the map. But he knows when the mag is up. Oh, unfortunately, you will can not he do? be able to he can't do He doesn't anything. have anything. He doesn't have any armor. He might try to come in here. I think he'll hear, he'll hear the timing from there as well. But Evil will have full control on the map. There is Cypher again doing damage, but he took so much and he got stuck, stuck there. On the wall, and now we're halfway through. Evil's ready to tie the game up, and he's right back in this with the strength of a thousand men. Evil's ready to get oh. the next kill. And Cypher, here we go. The Rene doesn't do damage. Cypher did get the, the yellow. However, he took around 30 damage to get it. Red and Mega spawning at the same time, though. This is very dangerous for Evil. Can he get both of them? Here we go, back yes, onto the Mega. Can. Cypher not really paying it that much attention to them, and he knew that he's really, really risky. He doesn't want to go in a fight where he has 50% chance of evil showing up. Here we go, back onto the shards, back onto the yellow. And look, Cypher's not really getting any armor whatsoever. I think he got one yellow in the last and 30 seconds, and that's it. And he's not. Oh, he's oh gonna make dear! Six to six, game is tied, and uh, and Cypher. What does he do? Look at this. Evil takes everything. He's got the map on cycle, man. This, he can maybe get one yellow. That's one rocket from Evil, from Cypher. Evil, he has a leash on Cypher right now. Oh, There's, that was that was wow. On. There's only so much a Cypher can do, and Evil is not going to let him do pretty much anything. Red is next item up. Cypher got a yellow, and he's trying to play aggressive. This is definitely a mistake from Cypher. He needs to get away. Evil does drop down. He's, he's assuming that Cypher might go for the. 50 HP, but Cypher double bags onto the rail. What is the reading level on here? And look at this, Cypher, if he, this is this rail. If he can take this rail, it's bad. Oh, oh he oh. cannot take the rail. Goes down and now, Evil is in such a strong position. This could be Evil's game winning position if he does the next 30 Thing seconds is, correctly. Red and Mega spawning at the same time again. This is what Cypher forced Evil to do. So he can steal the red now and forge an opportunity. Forge something. That was the beginning. Now that rocket is helping Cypher a lot. He needs to find that damage. He needs to push in for a fight soon. He wants the next red. Evil is going to position himself for it. Cypher might be there. We can see Evil getting slightly scared. Where is Cypher? He doesn't land a second rail. Evil backs off. Cypher is going to be aware of that red. And now he has something to play with. Is Evil going to attack the next Mega? This next Mega is going to be a huge fight. Who's going to win it? Cypher comes in. He missed the second rocket. Can he get the third? He does. My Cypher God. ties up the game. Three minutes and he's remaining. Also, he does it so soon after losing the absolute control. He just Look got at a that huge direct, rocket. Man. That changes everything now. Evil should realize. But he hasn't got the weapons. To, he needs a rail to have that long range kind of presence on the map. But he doesn't. Cypher cannot be afraid of these long ranges. But Evil, Evil no! Oh, what no. a mistake from Evil. And Cypher even misses that rail. It's okay. Oh, that was weird. Why is he dropping down on Cypher again? This time it's actually good because if he lands a rocket, oh, it doesn't though. And that's the Mega. This is this is so bad for Evil right now. And he spawns right there, so Evil Cypher can go to the Rev. Two and a half minutes left. Dare I say that Evil is choking? I mean, it's it's just it's just a few plays just going bad for him, and that that's, that can be it against a guy like Cypher. It's the entire entire grand final they were just neck and neck on just sick play after sick play they were even on sick plays but now cyphers yes uh, evil's just falling a little bit short each time and cyphers able to recover and that window of opportunity for evil each time after these plays it's not big enough it's he doesn't get the spawn he doesn't get the weapon he doesn't get the angle Cypher. and cyphers three frags up evil did get the mega now so it's the last opportunity for evil we see three trying to see what can he do if anything at all because if he doesn't do anything then cypher will have done it again he was two maps down he won two maps in a row and this is a decider whoever wins this will have won the third face it of the winter season yep and so far cypher is looking so good he just has to get this mega clean and that's it clean mega now clean mega he's gonna make his way back over to the next yellow Can and look evil. at the way the items are spaced it's just too good for Cypher. Oh, this he, does, he does miss that rail. He does land the second one though, but Evil needs this rep. And there's nowhere for him to go. Yeah. One minute it's left nothing. and four frags, and Cypher has full control still. Great vertical rail. That's got to be it. That's got to be it right now. There's just nowhere 
for Evil to, to go. The safe on the map. Cypher has everything. GG's called by Evil. And Cypher, he did it again. 12 to 7. On the fifth map, Cypher, he reversed. He reversed it. A clean sweep in the end there for Cypher. Congratulations to the Belarusian who, oh my god, he, both of these players, they yeah. delivered such great games. I am so happy about it. Um, any last words in, before we close out the cup today? I don't even know. Cypher did this again. I mean, seemingly from the two first maps was Evil 2.0, and Cypher just cut it in half. Yeah, he downgraded him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, do you have any, any, what do you want to plug? Plug, plug away. Well, if you, you want to check more Quake throughout the weeks when Face It Iron streaming, do check uh, me and Zoot out on Twitch.tv Zoot Live. We usually stream every day at 16 set. So do check us out. All our social media is, is slash Zoot Live. So, yep. And what uh, about you? And for me, just just check, just follow me on Twitter, DDK underscore, and you can find out any content that I'm making on my YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's cup.